we got the epic bolt lift finish 20,000 pound capacity. So, I said we'd make it happen and we did. The Dominator unit, the Dom, and the Caden. Look at man, he's, he's a freaking worker. Anyway, so here's the deal. We got the 12 inch aluminum beams underneath there. We got the aluminum bunker boards. Look at the size of this freaking boat. She's a monster. This thing right here, he's got like 200 gallon fuel tank underneath there. 100 gallon fuel, 120 gallon fuel tank in the front underneath the bow. All this freaking rigging, it's like crazy winches batteries it's a heavy freaking boat it's got 500 horsepower on the back twin 250 suzuki's and it fits on this lift this lift doesn't even groan this lift is like no problem it's an easy lift it came in and went installed pretty nice it's beautiful he he's a he's a fisherman so you know the docks it's not really pretty that's what we normally do right next door it's gorgeous but um, that's not what he wanted, you know? He just wanted functional, and he got it. It's beautiful, it works. The thing barely fits in here. This anchor just clears by a couple of inches, and we squeaked it in here. His little fishing fleet to bring the fresh food home. And we got it all wired up. We got our GFIs. It just stormed like crazy, so that's water coming off the top there beautiful it's a nice setup everything's greased got grease fittings everywhere lifted it out the water like a dream so here we are from a different angle checking this thing out it'll go up way high too so he can work on the bottom of his boat but he was a smart man he hired the guy with that logo right there super smart guy I'd hire him a little partial to him but anyway this is underneath that boat up off the water it's a freaking monster she's it's 18 000, i don't know she's it's because she's got a lot of fluids in her and when it's loaded down with shrimp and ice and everything else he's going to use that 20 000 pound capacity lift works great just wanted to show you give you a little perspective on these tools that we use that freaking grapple is a freaking monster. Look at the Caden unit standing next to it. He's not exactly a tiny little wimpy guy. And then you got the Dominator over there. Man, these tools are huge. This is the Floton remover that we built. It's a freaking monster. That's the pile driving rig right behind us. It's uh, that thing by itself is super heavy. It's a lot of steel. The freaking base is like two inches thick. It's a monster. Let me see if I can get over there so I can put my hand in the picture. Yeah, this right here is about two inches thick. Look at the teeth on this thing. Those are no joke. Here, Dom. Caden, climb in there so I can show how big it is. Look at this thing. He could live in there like a freaking hermit crab. He fits right in there. Then we got the five footer. All these tools to make our job a little bit easier. This is the five footer. It's a monster. Here, Dom, lay that one right there. Look at the size of that thing. Couldn't get him to lay down. Get in there, get in there with him. See? Anyway, yeah, it's just a little machine. It's huge. So everybody's always selling me, oh, you got a little mini excavator. Oh, it's a little tiny thing. They got no idea. Look at how high that counterweight is. It's, I don't know, four foot off the ground there. It's a freaking monster. It's not a little baby. It's a little one compared to a Cat 370 but it does the job. I mean, these are two and a half inch freaking pins for this attachment. We made all this stuff. It's kind of rough in the shop, but it works. That's all half inch steel. This is one inch. It's massive. 
does the job though. We can reach right out. It's totally adjustable. We got these big pins in here. This whole thing telescopes in and out. And this just bolts on the end. So we take that off and we bolt the block on the end there, run a cable over it, and we got ourselves a little crane. Anyway, we gotta get to work. I can't be talking to you guys all day.